fall video for you guys today this one I'm just gonna be sharing with you guys some of my favorite like wardrobe staples that I feel like anybody can use in their closet you already have all of the leggings the jeans the sweaters the cardigans etc and <laughs> these are just things that you can really dress up your outfits with I have some of my favorite fall shoes these are things that I have been reaching for already like last year or things that are new to me this year that I know that I'm going to be reaching for a ton. Um, but I have things like shoes, the perfect fall accessory, and just some clothing pieces that I think really anybody can use because they're so versatile and you can do so many things with them. So, so the first thing I want to talk about with you guys is this pair of boots. If you have already seen my videos or follow me on Instagram, you know I've been talking about these a lot <laughs> because I am just so obsessed with them. But I basically was on the search you guys like I was on the search for a pair of boots like this that wasn't over $200 that wasn't a super high heel that wasn't like not quite the right color um, that wasn't completely sold out that was in stock in my size etc I walked into DSW one day and saw these I had to get them so these are from DSW they are a little bit pricey. I think they were, I don't know the exact price, but they were like 100 and maybe 30 I'm guessing. But like I said, these for me are a staple piece, okay? I have already worn these a lot. It's not even, it's still summer and I've already worn these a good handful of times and I've had them for like two weeks now. So I already know that I'm going to be loving these. They're super comfortable. I absolutely love the color of them. Just really beautiful. I love the like slight point toe, not too super sharp. Um, but just like a nice kind of rounded point and also I don't know if you can tell but there is a little bit of like a colored kind of distressing um, here and then it also has a little bit of that same color on the back of the boot so they kind of look like a little bit worn already which I really don't mind because if I'm spending a hundred plus dollars on a pair of boots I'm I don't want to be scared to wear them because then they're gonna look worn it's already done for me <laughs> have a really nice low heel to them they um, come up just under the knee so they're not super tall or anything and these are great absolutely love these so comfortable I am a true size 8 I have a wider foot I went ahead and got a size eight and a half in these just because of the point tone I just really want them to be super comfortable I do not like shoes that are not comfortable yeah, this is my first recommendation for a great fall boot for you guys I absolutely cannot recommend enough they're so good um, on the same day actually at DSW I just decided to go nuts and um, spend all my money on two pairs of shoes and I I'm not even mad I love fall <laughs> I love fall boots I think these are actually just a great booty that you can really wear year-round definitely think it's worth it for these because these are just like a great everyday shoe um, that you could wear pretty much year round. So um, don't mind the price of these. They are not, they were $99, I think, so 100 bucks. But if you don't wanna pay the price, if you like the look, I have the Amazon dupe. So my issue is I need to have comfortable shoes. Um, if I can't run around and chase my four year old son and go grocery shopping on those like hard, awful concrete floors that a lot of grocery stores have, um, if I can't run around my driveway chasing after my dogs, I don't want them because I need to have comfort. I want to look good, but I need to have a comfortable shoe. The Amazon pair, it just wasn't doing it for me. They are almost like really, they're almost completely identical. I think they even have another one closer to this color, but this is the color that I got last year. And I just, I don't wear these because they were not as comfortable as I wanted them to be. So I went ahead and splurged on the Vince Camuto booties and they're so good. I went ahead and sized up in these as well because they have the point toe and like I said I want to be comfortable but these are great. Worn these a good few times already and they are already so much more comfortable. I don't know if it's the materials that they are made with or what but they're just more comfortable with the Amazon ones so you definitely get what you pay for in this um, kind of situation but cannot recommend another pair of boots to share with you. I'm just going to go ahead and get all the shoes out of the way first because I have like another pair after this, but I 
cannot. I'm so obsessed with these. Um, I love them so much. I love the look of them. They are super comfortable. They have a nice low heel. The heel looks a little bit higher on these, but they have a platform. So really the heel is not bad at all. They're super comfortable. I got these in a size eight. They are from Altered State and I absolutely love. I just love the neutral color of them. Um, Walmart does actually have a really similar pair, so I'll go ahead and link those also if you guys are interested, but if you are not super into, like, the lug boot trend or, like, the really chunky, some of them are kind of ugly. I really like the lug boots, um, that are super popular right now from so many brands, but some of them are a little bit, like, a little bit too much going on, like, a little too out there for me. Um, so if you're not super like into that trend, combat boot is just a really good classic staple um, shoe that you can add to your wardrobe if you're not really ready to take the plunge into like the lug booties or boots, but absolutely love these. It looks so good with leggings, jeans, dresses, really anything, and they're just so super cute. Very, very comfortable. So absolutely love these. I also love that it's kind of like an almond is that like that? I feel like that's like what I'm thinking of, um, like almond nails. Is this like what you call this? An almond toe? <laughs> How it's kind of pointed and more narrow at the toe. So it's really flattering and they just give like a really cute look on and I just love the neutral color of them so much. A pair of boots here, um, but I have literally the perfect, perfect fall handbag that matches with these boots so well so I'm so excited to put together fall outfits with these boots in the back. So I went ahead and splurged on these as well. Um, these are the Goodnight Macaroon over the knee boots. So I actually did an Amazon video last year, an Amazon fall haul where I got the Amazon dupes for these boots and I specifically remember thinking and I know I feel like I probably said it in that video but I was like I really like the Goodnight Macaroon ones, but I cannot ever see myself paying that price for a pair of boots that I'm just going to wear like in the fall. So I did it. <laughs> I found a 40% off discount. Okay. So I only, I paid for these, um, not full price and that's why I went ahead and got them. The other reason I went ahead and got them is because I did have the Amazon boots. They are nowhere to be found. I have torn my house apart. I have my husband look through the attic. I lost so I was like, I'm just, I need to get a new pair. The other reason I decided to go ahead and <laughs> splurge on these boots is because um, I had the Amazon pair. I wore them and I loved them and they were great until they weren't. They had some kind of like structural piece right here. Some, I don't know what it was, but it was kind of like a rounded little piece in the back. And I wore them out one day walking and for whatever reason, it just, the piece ended right here and it was like rounded. It was pretty low and it just started folding inwards. And every step that I took, it was just scraping the skin away right under my ankle bone, just scraping away at my skin. And I was like, oh my God, I need to go home and change my shoes ASAP. I had bloody ankles. It was horrible. They just... I got a good few like wears out of them and then I just I couldn't wear them anymore because it was so painful. I don't feel like it has that kind of like weird structural piece. It has something similar but it's higher than the Amazon one. So I feel like my ankle is not yeah, it's like higher, so it's like above my ankle and it's not going to tear me completely apart and shred my flesh off like the other ones did. So I decided to go ahead and try these. The Amazon dupes are great. I feel like if you maybe just size up and wear a nice squishy sock or something inside the shoe to protect your ankles or something, then you're fine, especially if you want the look and you don't want to spend the price. The only difference is obviously that little piece that the Amazon ones had going on and the color on the Goodnight Macaroon ones is slightly warmer than the Amazon ones. They were kind of a cooler brown. They were really pretty. They were super comfortable as far as like the heel height. And then I just, I don't know what it was. They just stopped being comfortable and just started to tear my feet up. So I am kind of glad they got lost. Maybe I just like threw them away <laughs> in agonizing um, pain that I blocked out. So 
Um, yeah, I went ahead and opted for these. These are so beautiful on. They also come in a little bit tighter in the ankle area, so it just really gives your leg just a super like flattering appearance. And you can also see the shape of these, like kind of comes in tighter at the ankle, goes out for your calf, comes back in and then widens out at the thigh. They're really, really a beautiful shoe and you can tell they are great quality. I went ahead and got my normal true size um, eight and they fit great. I think an over the knee pair of boots is great. They look so good with dresses, leggings, even jeans and a cute sweater. There's like just endless possibilities. So absolutely love these. For, <laughs> I can't even show you the whole boot in the frame, but absolutely love a good over the knee boot. <laughs> okay, so the next thing I wanna show you and I will pick the boot back up that I just threw on the floor because it matches so perfectly, you guys. I cannot believe this was a happy accident. I didn't plan this, but look how beautiful for one this bag is, but look how perfectly they match. Are you kidding me? Look at how gorgeous this bag is. They're literally like practically the same color. My camera is kind of washing the color out a little bit, but they match so well. Look at this bag. Look at this bag. This is absolutely beautiful. So Teddy Blake is the brand of this bag. They went ahead and sent this to me to share with you guys and I saw this on their website and I was like, oh my God, I've got to try that bag. It's literally like, look, even with this outfit, how cute. It's literally the perfect fall bag. It is so beautiful. It is not a single loose thread on here or anything that just looks, you know, wonky or anything. The chain is great quality. They are a luxury handbag company, but they do not charge the luxury handbag price. Construct their handbags pretty much using the same um, materials and ways that luxury um, designer bags construct their pieces except they don't charge you for the brand name because when you are buying like a designer luxury handbag you're really paying for the name of the brand and not so much the bag so whereas Teddy Blake is really just charging you what you're paying for so you can get a luxury beautiful designer looking piece without spending the money of a designer brand name. So absolutely love, this is so gorgeous. The bag also comes in a bunch of other colors. I will go ahead and link this down below if you guys wanna check it out. I am so just obsessed. I'm so glad that they sent this over to me. This is truly such a beautiful bag and I had to share it with you guys. If you have a birthday or an anniversary or anything in the fall where you want to treat yourself or maybe tell your partner, um, I definitely recommend. This is a gorgeous bag and if you have <laughs> the Goodnight Macaroon Boots, this matches perfectly. Um, like I said, they also have other colors but I specifically got this. I think it's called Caramel brown maybe but I specifically got this color because it's the perfect fall bag and I love fall so much so I can definitely justify or see myself wanting to purchase a bag like this just for fall because I mean who doesn't want a bag just for a specific season especially if you love it as much as I do so had to share this with you guys it is absolutely gorgeous I hope you guys don't notice my nails I have been doing one hand at a time to save time and I've got to do the other side tonight so this side's really bad <laughs> but um absolutely love this thank you so much Teddy Blake for sending this over I, I do have a discount code which I believe saves you $30 off of your purchase and that is on top of their sale prices which I think are up to 60% off right now. So definitely go check up, check out their website. I will have this linked below. Moving on to the like clothing items. Also, this dress is not included as a fall staple, but it is really cute. It is a dress. It's smogged. It's like a mini dress. It comes up above my knees. Um, I'll go ahead and link this down below. It's from Walmart. I just got it in today. So I was like, I'm going to wear that. It is so like festive and fall looking. So I'll link this below in case you're interested. Um, it's from Walmart. I think it was like 20 something dollars. So next thing that I feel like is a staple in anybody's fall wardrobe. If you don't already have one, if you haven't already hopped on the shacket trend, I do not like that word. It feels so weird to say, <laughs> but if you've not already hopped on the shacket trend, 
do it. I got one from Amazon. Okay. I love the coloring of this. It is so soft. So soft. Um, I, some of these shackets, because they're meant to be like a jacket, a shirt jacket, um, some of them are really pricey and I wasn't sure if I would like it because I feel like I'm more of like just I want to wear like a flannel top and like not something super thick but I wanted to try one out and I don't want to spend 80 or 90 dollars on my first one if I don't even know if I like it very much so I went ahead and got one from Amazon and I love it <laughs> of course I love it I actually when they got super popular last year I didn't even buy one because I wasn't sure but of course I really love it really cute I especially love how they look with leggings which I will get into in a minute but I love how they look with um, leggings and boots combat booties I have some black ones that I tried on with this as well um, been seeing people wear a cute jacket with um, some jeans and like lug boots or combat boots and it looks so gorgeous or wearing a jacket with like a cute hat so many cute ways that you can wear them and I just feel like if you haven't already tried one I think you should so I think this would be really cute over like a dress and some knee boots um, so many different ways that you can wear them and I really like this one so I'll have this one linked down below um, absolutely just love these colors though it's like a nice brown just really something that can go with anything and that you can just layer and dress up your outfit a little bit so okay the next thing I feel like anybody can use in their wardrobe is a sweater dress I can just see so many little like sweater fibers <laughs> flying around in front of my lens I hope they don't show up but um, a sweater dress so this one I actually got from Amazon last year um, you'll see how cute it looks on this one is not my favorite I have an Amazon haul coming very soon if you're not subscribed already go ahead and subscribe so you can watch it but I have an Amazon haul coming soon where I'm going to be showing you guys some other sweater dresses this one it's really cute but it's see-through so if you wear this you need like a slip underneath I just had on like a darker bra and some boy shorts so you could really see um, how sheer it is in this um, instance but but for this particular one it's not my favorite I it was it's what I had on hand so I just wanted to show you but perfect for the days where it's a little bit chillier in the morning and then it gets super warm in the afternoon my favorite look um, is a hat a sweater dress and some boots doesn't matter what <laughs> what color whatever but just such a good combination they look good with any kind of like taller boots combat boots even um, you can wear a jacket over them and just kind of layer with it if it's colder and I think I tried this on with the over the knee boots to show you just such an adorable combination so I think these are great you can really dress them up or down you could wear them with um, leggings and have just like a longer sweater um, kind of look just really so many different ways that you can dress up or down a sweater dress but they are just great for if you're like oh my god I don't know what to wear you just put on your sweater dress and your outfits pretty much done just put on some cute shoes and you're out the door ready to go so I think everybody needs if you don't get anything from this video go ahead and get yourself a pair of these Sphinx leggings they are so good so there are so many like faux leather leggings everywhere but these ones <laughs> specifically these ones are my favorite I've tried a few different pairs and I always just like go back to these because they just completely suck you in I absolutely have worn these so much um, I got these last year from the Nordstrom sale they're a little bit pricey I think on sale they were like $65 so even still a little bit pricey but they're so amazing and they really are great for just like really sucking you in they're really great for those days where you're like feeling bloated or you just really want to look very um, nice and smooth and sucked in and that's why these are the best compared to other faux leather leggings that I've tried they are often kind of like a pleathery material and like I tried a pair one time that was just like a like a pleather material that had like a lining like another separate fabric that was a lining and they were so hot and so gross and sticky feeling and they just weren't flattering and were super shiny and just really weird I don't know I just didn't like them but <laughs> these ones are not like a pleathery kind of like faux leather look it just have like a shiny coating on top of the legging itself so 
in some spots you can see where the coating has kind of like gotten worn down a little bit. This is at the top, so it doesn't really bother me much, but it does wear down a little bit, but like I said, I've worn these so often, and when, when I have them on, you can't even really tell, and they're just really gorgeous. So they just look like a pair of leggings that are shiny and not like the weird pleather ones. <laughs> if you've tried them, you know what I'm talking about, but absolutely love. You can wear these with so many different things. Um, with a cute band tee and a shacket over the top and some cute uh, tennis shoes. They look really great with combat boots. This is from Urban Outfitters. I have worn this a lot. It photographs so well. It's just so gorgeous, so beautiful. It looks humongous in person. It, it is really big, but it looks so good in pictures. I absolutely love it. This comes in other colors and I think this was about $50. Also, of course, have like Amazon versions. This one looks like it's been through hell. I think I paid about $17 for this and it's really started to pill very badly. I don't know if I can use like a fabric shaver on it. I'm going to try, but um, it looks worse for wear <laughs> and it definitely has a smaller brim. So depending on what you like if you want a smaller brim then definitely go with like an amazon hat because you can definitely see the difference in size between this one and the urban outfitters one it's a lot bigger but i love this one the reason i want to recommend this one i mentioned this in my last uh video but this one is probably my favorite out of all of them that i own i think i have like 10 or 12 now but this one is my favorite my husband um, went on like a little trip somewhere um, a while ago. We went on a trip somewhere basically and my husband, I was like, be careful for my hat because if you have any of these hats, you know like if they get shipped to you and they're smashed or anything, like they're just, they're, they're messed up forever. Like you can't get it out or even like you have to like try to steam it and sometimes that has worked for some of my hats, sometimes it doesn't. So I was like, make sure you're careful for my hat, please be careful. He took our giant suitcase, put it in the back of our car, and had this hat underneath it. So, like, when I tell you it was, like, a pancake, like, I'm not kidding, it was a pancake. And he took it out, and I was like, <laughs> are you kidding me? So, I was so upset, and I was like, great, I'm going to have to throw the hat away now because there's no way, there's no way, like, that's going to go back to normal. Because it was crushed for a long time, like, a long drive. And I was like, well, that's done for, so much for that. <laughs> and, um... Here, this is the same hat. Somehow, it, I just like popped it back um, out and it was really crinkly and ugly and I, I didn't do anything to it. It just kind of like went back into place. So, it fixed itself and this hat is my favorite because it got completely crushed and it went back to normal. So, it's durable. Unlike all of the other um, cheaper hats that I have, like if this one got crushed or something, like it's never... It's never going to be normal again unless I try to steam it. And like I said, I've tried that with some of the Amazon hats and it just hasn't really worked. So, don't know what magic they use when they make this hat, but it really works. So, I recommend this one 100% if you are into um, these nice big uh, wide brim hats. Just blinked for a second. But that is all of my uh, favorite fall wardrobe staples that I feel like anybody can use in their wardrobes. So uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you the next time. Bye!